Wow, wow, hello to everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? We just came upon a herd of a bunch of water buffalo. I really hope that you guys can see me, or, well, not really see me, but mostly see the game. Um, we're having quite a few tough technical uh, difficulties within the last maybe like four or five hours, but I really want to get back to the chat here and try and talk to you guys. Hey, Wyatt Shear, Ryder Dell, Levi Cosman, Wade. Um, the hunter that never miss. I love that name, by the way. Crazy G Life. What's going on, man? Bowman 5997. Great to see you guys all out here. I saw a bunch of people in the chat right away in the beginning, but I didn't get a chance to respond to you guys. Uh, we do have quite a few water buffalo here, and there's one pretty nice seven very hard. Or let's just go with the mythical. Yeah, that'll do. We can go with the mythical for this one. Also, we have a present. We're using the 338 Magnum, which I honestly haven't used it in quite a bit of time. We're gonna try and go for a double lung heart shot on this guy. If we get a chance. Slide over a little bit. Of course, he stopped right behind the tree. Yeah, he is pretty big, huh? Come on, stop, stop, stop. We're a, a little bit too high for heart, but we definitely should have got double lung on that. It looked pretty awesome to me. We should get probably close to like 85, 90% of the quick kill, and he is down. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. I just said, and he is down, and all of a sudden I can see him still running in the background. <laughs> Ryder saying 883, yeah, because we didn't get very good of a quick kill on that. Uh, our consecutive harvest is absolutely horrible right now, so we're gonna have to get a few of these Water buffalo down just to get our harvest value back up That was a good hit there, but that thing is not going anywhere I'm wondering if this water buffalo is gonna fall down into the water and glitch out to the other side I feel like that might just happen. Hey David Landers Lee Bailey says 880. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good guess Kyle the hunter he is he is definitely dead Ryan Hawkins, good. How you been, man? Oh, I was wrong. He did not fall into the water. He stopped right there. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't used this uh, 338 too often. Bo Blanchard. I definitely remember you. Yeah, back when Medved Tiger first came out. I remember talking to you quite a bit, man. How you been? Good to see you. Really good to see you. Ryan Hawkins, that's that's good. Really good to hear you. Uh, Joshua Johnson. Oh, what do we have going on here? We're trying to take down some of these water buffalo. But we're going to push him a little bit further because I do not want to ruin our uh, need zone that we have set up here. Oh, it looks to be going pretty good on your side. Hey, shut up and fish. What is going on, man? Uh, Bo, by the way, you're playing. Nice. Yeah, that's always the best way to do it, to play and watch at the same time. Hey, Sean Johns. What's good, man? What's good? Yeah, it was so interesting. I was just streaming with Comic Book Guy just to do some tests. Everything seemed to work out perfect. And then I did a event. I, I set an event for, like, a future stream. And next thing I know... There's our mythical down right there. Next thing I know... I literally could not stream. It, for some reason, would not let me stream. Oh, we should probably pick up this water buffalo down here just to get a consecutive harvest check. Jason Elliott, you love the 338. Yeah, I used it quite a bit when it first came out, but then I stopped using it for some reason. 0% of the consecutive harvest, which is what I figured. Only a single lung. Interesting. So that would mean we only got a single lung on this big mythical as well. Most likely. And I don't think it's going to be a gold anyways. I mean, it probably could be close to a gold just because it's so big. But... Yeah, I guess... You know what? I guess if we could get some more of these water buffalo to come back in... We might as well try and get our harvest value up. Unless we can find something over here. Normally there's a puma or something like that over here. So normally there's a puma. Actually, normally there's like six pumas over here. 
But it looks like they decided to take a nap. Oh, right there. Just spotted... What the heck? It almost looks like a... Oh, okay. It looks smaller than a, than a water buffalo for some reason, but... It's definitely not. Is there a bunch of them bedded down? Oh, there is. There's a whole nother herd of them over here. Look at this. I think that's the seven-bear heart I was looking for from before. We don't really want... Uh, I guess we could... No, we need some more consecutive harvest checks. So we could use the seven-bear heart, but... I'd prefer to use a bow and try and get one of these down. Oh, was that high? Ooh, it's going down. Whatever we hit, I don't know, but it's definitely going down. Alright, let's, uh... See, because at this point, I don't really want to spook that whole herd. Oh, that's 100 yards out. No wonder why we couldn't hit that thing. <laughs> Makes a little more sense. Alright. Yeah, she's gonna hold tight there. Come on, turn broadside or keep coming. Do something. I don't know what you're gonna do. She should be about 90 actually. Uh, it looked like we hit a little bit far forward. Yep, that's not going down. Time to bust out the cannon. And I don't think that's going to help much either. <laughs> oh, we got one angry, pretty, pretty hurt buffalo. Anyways, at least we got one down. Glad to see you guys out here. Uh, Ryder says, Texas heart shot, three yards. Typical G-Men move. Yeah, sounds about right. Let's pick up this female. I kind of don't really want our mythical to disappear. I'm a little bit concerned that that might happen, especially considering... Oh, we're back up to 40%. Can't complain about that. And uh, we got a call from a black buck. We do have the Mosin on us as well. Right there is a black buck. One male looks like another male there. All right, let's bust out the Mosin here and see if we can figure out a shot on that guy. Drop shot on him. Uh, can we get this female? I didn't really like that first shot, but uh, it should take her down. And that will definitely take her down, so I will take that. Uh, let's just run over here really quick. Try not to... Okay, we already picked up that one. We have to track down that water buffalo in a second, but we're going to go over here now. And pick up the black buck. Dennis Anderson, thank you so much for the super chat, bud. Hey, DD, long time no see. It was your birthday yesterday. I was hoping you could wish me a happy birthday. Well, happy birthday, Dennis Anderson. <laughs> that was so nice of you, man. I hope you have a really good birthday. It has been a while. It's so good to see you again, though. Really appreciate that. Hey, uh, Levi Kotsman, I've been pretty good. Really good, actually, in the last... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Axis deer. Uh, we could try for a shot on one of these guys. <laughs> that didn't work. I had a feeling we might hit that tree. We definitely drilled that tree. I didn't really want to take a shot on a big one. That was just like a younger size Axis buck, but maybe... 
Yeah, no, it's a good thing we missed. At least, I'm pretty sure we missed. Alright, let's go over here and go pick up these black buck. Hello, Jonathan from Atlanta, Georgia. Good to see you, man. Thank you. The Seanster, thank you so much for stopping in. And yes, I am glad to be feeling better as well, too. I was trying to do a stream before and let you guys know I was super happy and doing really good and everything, but <laughs> YouTube basically kicked me in the butt. But eventually I figured it out, and I'm so glad to be doing good again. Jared Lepic, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks, man. How are you doing? Okay, so we got a male down here, and then we got a female down right there, not too far away. Let's pick up this male. Looks like we got a gold out of that after all, even though we only got a 80% on the consecutive harvest. Double lung shot. And let's go over here now and pick up the female that we made a nice shot on. Hey, CN Gaming, good to see you, man. And Silver Moon, great to see you again. What's going on, Silver? Uh, Sean Johns, thank you for that again. I, I uh, forgot to check your second comment but yeah I was gonna say that first shot didn't really connect very well then we did get intestine and vertebrae so at least it took her down now we can get back over here and pick up what could be close to a gold still even though we're not gonna have a very good quick kill on that uh, water buffalo we will locate this drinking zone Jared says, good, right at school, just got done playing cribbage today. Oh, nice, I remember playing cribbage. That was so fun, that's such a good game. How'd you do? Silver Moon, I'm good now that there's a few streams to watch. Oh, that's good to hear, glad to hear. So, where is your donate box? Uh. uh it's the jar on the bottom right. That's where the donations can go. And if you want to figure out how to donate... Oh, well, there you go. That's a, that's a good way, too. Oh, are my alerts not popping up? Peyton Sky, thank you so much for the super chat, bud. How you been doing? Uh, I've been doing fantastic, man. How you been doing? We really appreciate that. <laughs> you put a smile on my face, too. Thank you. Hey, the Hunter of Diamonds 10, welcome back. Good to see you again, man. Silver Moon, what's going on with you? I didn't know you were not feeling so well. All right, so this water buffalo here, we didn't hit so great, but we'll track him down in a second. I'm hoping that that second shot at least hit somewhere in the spine, which might end up bringing him down. If not, oh well. Oh, Jonathan says, how do you get money from the chat? Uh, if you're talking about Super Chat, basically it's a donation to the the channel revenue. It doesn't actually go directly to me, it goes to the channel. But I don't really know exactly what you're trying to ask. Um, our mythical should have been here somewhere. I'm hoping he didn't disappear. Let's check. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're a little bit too far forward. Oh, here he is. Okay, good. Looks like our mythical is still here. Silver Moon, you have a cold that turned into losing your voice. Oh, man, I hate when that happens. Yeah, I really hope you feel better soon. We did get a gold out of that. A single lung. <laughs> 332. So, yeah, that would have been a 900 plus, it looks like. Pretty cool, though. We did get a gold. I will take it 105 yards out with a single lung hit. A little bit too far for the bow, but hey, if it was 80 yards, we probably would have tried for a shot. The Seanster, you play on Xbox. Oh, nice. So, have you guys heard anything? Is Xbox going to get the trophy launch the same day as PC? I mean, I know they kind of said something that it might happen, but I don't know if it's really confirmed fully or not. The heck is calling down here? Red Deer? Since when do we have Red Deer down here? Unfortunately, the only thing we had to take a shot on them with is the Mosin to get at least 100% anyways. Oh, they'll be there in a little bit. We'll go back and check on them in a second. 
Red deer are so cool. Especially to be able to get one mounted for the trophy lodge. Heck yeah. Alex Harms. Uh, whoa. Blue Titan, thank you so much for the donation, man. I really appreciate that. Wow. So, our water buffalo ran over here somewhere. In fact, here's some blood right here. Uh, it was a vi- uh, not a vital hit, it was a- what the heck is that? All I know is that was probably a little bit overpowered for whatever we just shot. I think it was an Axis deer, but it was only a female, so... That's alright. Anyways, we'll swing by here really quick and pick this up. Uh, yeah, I really wish- Oh! I can see right here. Go, go, Hunter! I love your video, buddy! Thank you so much, man! I really appreciate that, and uh, that makes me happy to hear, man. King G2306, do you think they will release a new animal? Um, not right now, but eventually, I'm thinking turkey is up next. They've been talking a lot about- you know what? Is this a rare? I think it might be a rare. I saw one of these the other day, and I thought to myself, oh, that might be a rare. Oh, it's an orange- I don't know if it's really a rare or just a fur variation, but man, that's really cool. I think I would mount that if I would have gotten it and say there actually was trophy lodges. Anyways, we'll take a couple of screenshots of that. So, Coop and Donnie, you're my favorite. Oh man, that's awesome to hear. Thank you for that. Alright, so we need to get back on the... Why is it so late at night here? I thought I started at 10 o'clock in the morning. Apparently not so much. We will have to figure that out soon, but we don't want to lose this water buffalo here, because then... Then we're going to lose our consecutive harvest again. But this water buffalo might not go down from that. Yeah, no, it's not a rare. It is a really cool fur variation, though, but yeah. Uh, still really cool. Alright, so this guy seems to be going down pretty decently. East Impact, what do you think the next map will be? I'm hoping it's going to be some kind of desert map where we have pronghorn, elk, and mule deer. Something like that. Or maybe even if we're lucky uh, to get maybe like a Midwestern style map. Is this an old track or a fresh track? Uh, it looks kind of fresh, but it's concerning me because... I don't know if this is a new track. Alright, so it looks like he came here, circled around. And who knows where the heck he went after that. Question is, is he going to go down from that? Did we get one here? We got one here. Pretty sure we got one here. It looks like it's purple, so it, it kind of seems like it will go down, but... Man, it's hard to tell. Hey, Hunter Lamp, what's going on, man? Good to see you again. Oh, so we found some more tracks. We'll check the next set of blood here, if there is any more blood, to see if this buffalo is going to go down or not. It might not. But it might. So it's looking like it's not going to. Did it loop around? Okay. Hey, Clayton Adams, another mod. Good to see you here. How you been, Clayton? It's been a pretty good time. Yeah, so I am very fortunate to be able to stream. I actually, I wanted to stream before and I just wasn't able to. So, do we track back this water buffalo? I mean, I guess. You know what? Let's just uh, forget about it and change the time. Josiah Mail, I'm feeling really good, man. Thank you for asking. Yeah, because the only reason we needed to get our consecutive harvest up like that was because we got a big mythical. We wanted it to be a gold, and it was a gold, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. 
Now, this water buffalo spot has probably disappeared. Oh, no, it's still there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's get a consecutive harvest check with this black buck out here at 350. What do you say? I'm down for it. We'll zero in for 320. And, well, we're not going to take a trotting shot. Or are we? Oh, man. Guarantee that was a miss, but you can't get him if you don't try. All right, hunt for a reason. Have a good night, man. Thank you. So we got to be careful because there's a really, well, a rare looking axis buck around here. And there's also a big mythical red deer that I don't want to accidentally shoot. <laughs> that is, of course, until the lodges come out. Then I will definitely want to take a shot at one. Ryan Hawkins, thanks, man. Lee Bailey says, what is your favorite weapon in Call of the Wild? Uh, that's a good question. Right now, the Mosin Nagant, definitely. I wonder if we hit that thing. It is purple over there, but we did take two black bucks over there not too long ago, so there's a good chance. Clean items just got a 998 black buck. Congratulations on that. But RIP before the law just came out. Sorry about that, bud. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tough one. Ooh, that's a good one there. I don't want to blow away our black buck spot. Do we even have one? Yeah, right there. All right, so this black buck should be free and clear of our need zone. Why are they trotting so fast? Slow down, dude. Man, he's so far out there and it's like he can see us or something. Come on, where did it go? Did he seriously keep trotting? I was about to take the shot too. Oh, I guess he's gonna live. All right, let's uh, head over here and see if we hit that black buck or not. Hey, Kyle the Bushcraft, hello to you as well. Apparently we have disappearing black bucks here. Oh yeah, I remember that, Jared. You talked to me about the vegetables. I thought you were actually talking about eating only vegetables as a, as a diet, and I, I agreed, yeah, it's... Well, not only, but yeah, vegetables are really good for you. Warden Master, you got a 965 cinnamon teal. Congratulations, that is a huge diamond teal. To be honest, I have yet to get a diamond teal. I think I have about six, not six, uh, probably four diamond... Uh, diamond mallards but I do not have a diamond teal. So right now we're just kind of swinging over here to see if we actually did hit that black buck, which, I mean, there's a chance we did, but uh, probably not. It's got a warning call from a black buck over here as well. We could try and call these guys in uh, if we do have the caller still, which we should. There we go. So if they decide to swing our way, we'll definitely take a shot. Come on, say veg, vegeta, oh veggie tails. I thought you said vegetables. I thought you were saying veggie vegetables or something like that, but. Let's see if these black bucks are still around here. Quentin Travis, you got a 971 moose. Congratulations, that is a big bull. Big old diamond.
And a 986 Fallow. Wow, that's a really big one. Just got eyes on our Black Buck sneaking in right here. That might be the one that we took a shot at before. And maybe we accidentally missed it. Well, I wouldn't say accidentally, but... <laughs> we might have missed it, let's just say that. And where did he go? Did he spook? Very good possibility. Alright then. Uh, he should come back. Uh, I can't honestly say that I've actually watched... Oh, there he is. Yeah, I don't think I've ever watched VeggieTales. Heart shot on him. Um... I did see Teletubbies. I don't know if that was a thing anymore, but growing up, I, I watched it once or twice, but... Crazy G Life, I'm so hyped for the Trophy Lodges. Give me something to do on the holidays, definitely. Whoa. Somebody's freaking out there. Pick up this buck. We did get a heart and lung shot. Another gold, 893. Hey, Chirpy Red, how are you doing? All right, so we still need to go over here and see if we hit that other black buck. That might have been the same one, but there's a good chance we might have actually got that black buck too. Well, hello to you too. All right, so we're actually going to work our way over to where the water buffalo hang out and try and get some water buffalo... Try and scout out some giants. How can I get all the diamonds? Um, try and get some need zones. I think that's the key. Get some need zones. Ooh, we got a water buffalo track there. What do we have over there? Looks like some brush, I guess. Yeah, we're going to head over for some water buffalo in a second, but it, I really want to make sure we didn't hit that male black buck. At the same track. Couple of females here. Any white tail tips? Um, I like to hunt at probably six o'clock in the morning on Layton Lakes and go to the center map and put out some calls. Donut Man! Hey, what is good, Donut Man? Okay, so it looks like it was a clean miss, which I'm okay with. Thank you so much for the super chat, Donut Man. I really appreciate that. And I always appreciate all your comments as well. Okay, so this is him. It is trotting and then running, so that means it was a clean miss. I'm okay with that. It's a decent sized black buck as well. Hey, there he is. Why? I have no clue how to say your name. I forgot if I said Yvesk. I'll just say that. There you go. What's going on, Yvesk? And snapped two. It's Z Metzda. I just figured out how to change names. Good luck on scouting for Mauners. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Bamas. How you been, Bamas? Good to see you again. Hope you're having a great day and good luck with the scouting. Really appreciate that. The luck will be very much appreciated as well. We are trying to find a specific animal. I think that's the one we missed. Oh, okay, I really need to switch over. 
I keep having uh, my 338 in slot one. And that cost us this black buck about two or three different times. Come on, step up. But it didn't cost at that time. He is smoked and that should take him down. See, because I was planning on going for water buffalo, which we did in the beginning, but uh, we really got to put this Mosent in slot one for the time being. Because it keeps distracting me and I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> Coop and Donnie, wood duck. Yes, please. I agree with you there. They should have wood duck. And you know what would be cool if they actually added wood duck houses. Where I'm from, there used to be a bunch of... Well, people used to put wood duck houses up in the trees. Maybe like right here, just a little box with a hole in it. And then the ducks will fly into it and nest. Which is cool, because then you can watch the females in the spring when they raise their babies. Alright, so... Where is our black buck? Did we lead it too much? Oh man. <sighs> Must have led it too much, I guess. Yep. Well, that's all right. There goes a... Whoa, Max Heglit. Hello to you as well. Definitely butchered this gold potential black buck here, but that's all right, because at least we still got him. And is that an Axis deer or a black buck? It is an axis deer, so I thought. Tried for a spinal cord shot, and it looks like we got it. Sort of. Here's our big black buck, and we. Oh! Too low! Look at that! That would have been a running double lung ball if it could have got penetration. I think it still should have hit the bottom of the heart, but barely missed it. Oh well. Can't get them all. All right, let's go over here and pick up this female. Oh, so close, right, Nathan? All right, let's pick this up. We did get the spinal cord, I believe. Although it's not showing it, it's just showing vertebrae and in intestine. Interesting. All right, well, well, that's good news, uh, Silver. Another Axis Deer there. Alright, so let's head on over to this area. Here. Water Buffalo Sanctuary. Five o'clock. Uh, might be a little bit... Oh, that's a good Axis Buck. That might actually be my rare track. I have a a four easy goal potential piebald axis buck right around here somewhere. Unfortunately, you guys didn't see it in the video. I was recording it. Well, no, I wasn't recording it. I saw it, then I hit record, but it was too late because he was already out of sight. But I definitely saw it and it was piebald and it looked like a four easy. I didn't get a spotting on it, but it looked like it was a four easy. So I'm really looking forward to trying to find him. Hypo footwear, deer hunting is hard. Yes, it is. It's hard all, all the way around in real life and here. Hey, Adden. Jay and his fishes. <laughs> I love your name. Very clever. And thank you for that. We have a mule deer buck kicked up here somewhere. Which way did he go? Oh, this way. All right, so we actually have mule deer and water buffalo over here, so we got to be careful because we don't want to get run over. And we have something very cool right there. A puma. At about 300 yards out. The sun very hard. But can we take that far of a shot with the Mosin? I think so. Let's try for it. We are not going for a heart shot because his front shoulder is obstructed by this brush. Uh, can we slide over a little bit? Oh, not really. Man, I don't like this. If we could at least center it. Uh, all right, here we go, here we go. Look pretty good. 
Uh-oh. Yep, we got it. We got it. <laughs> I saw it running and I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't think all oh, I said it, but anyways. Boom! Yes, we are live. Duck hunting is hard. Uh, it's not that hard. It's just the ducks don't come as consistent as some people would like, I guess you could say. Thank you, Megan Gary. We did a pretty good job. I wonder if we actually did get a double lung shot. We might have. It's a good chance we did. Very good chance. What do we have here? <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. I saw the mule deer buck here. And then we found all these guys. Oh, we have another puma here. All right, so I don't want to lose our puma. So we'll mark there. Is this a need zone for the water buffalo too? It's gotta be. It's a new need zone. Got a female there and a seven very hard there. And a mule deer there. Six hard there. Oh, hello. Where did all these guys come from? Dang, there's so many of them. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna go for the seven very hard. Got a pretty good potential to go for a heart shot on them. Just wanna check. You know what? I'm gonna start trusting this rangefinder more often from now on. Because I gotta start getting used to it. 198. It's looking like 198. Okay. I believe you. Maybe I shouldn't, but I still believe you. And can we get prone? Probably shouldn't need to, but we're still going to. All right, can we make this shot? 198 yards out, we're going directly for a heart shot. And we connected. That was a smoked water buffalo. All right. I was hoping we'd get a follow-up shot, but it looks like we're not going to. <laughs> so let's swing by really quick and pick up this puma. Then we will go and pick up the water buffalo. Thank you, Donut Man. I appreciate that. That was a heck of a good shot, huh? Daniel Geikling, how you been, man? I believe you're in Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the Seanster says smoke dome. Tanner Hunt, thanks, man. Alright, let's uh, swing by here and pick up this Puma. Hypo is trying to help us out. We won't forget the water buffalo, trust me. <laughs> that was a pretty cool shot, I believe you. Nice! We ended up getting a gold out of that. Double lung shot. At 306 yards out with the Mosin Nagant. Very cool. Let's take a screenshot of this guy. Just because. Not bad at all. 856. I honestly was not. I was not expecting that to be a gold. I was literally hoping we at least got a single lung, let alone. A gold out of that. I was hoping it would be close to a gold, but there's no way I thought it was going to be a gold. Alright, so now we need to switch back our weapons. I literally just switched from the Mosin to the 338, and now we need to switch back to the 338. Brandon Gregory, you made it! Welcome, man! No problem at all. We are just getting started. So good to see you again. My turtle's albino? Someone has an albino dog? No way, how do you have an albino dog? If you do, that's really cool though. Congratulations on that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I hope we didn't spot anything else because I don't want to lose our water buffalo. Which, oh, there he is. There he is. Tyler Lambert have four nine legendary 
How do you get so lucky? I don't understand it. That's amazing. I mean, I'm so happy for you, but like, how? Just how? Oh, I messed that up. I thought we were gonna like drop a little bit, but apparently not. Oh, I'm trying to switch out to the Mosin quick. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, that's what happens when you rush a shot right there. Tried to catch the bottom. I guarantee we barely missed the heart. This one was a wicked heart shot. Double lung and heart at 197. That's why you guys don't want to rush the shot. You got to take your time. Squeeze the trigger. Because if you don't, that stuff happens. <laughs> oh. Honestly, I thought he was like 100. So if we were zeroed in for 160, it should have shot high, but it didn't. This thing shoots pretty flat. Yeah, that was my bad. So hopefully we can find him at least. Where's his track? Oh, there we go. Hey Hayden, good to see you man. That is definitely not a water buffalo track. But nice try. What do we have here? Two minor. Some mule deer. Is that another mythical? Nope, six hard. Some more mule deer. Alright, well, I tell you what. We're going to take a shot at one of these mule deer here, I think. Maybe that three? Man, look at all these water buffalo coming. There's a lot of mule deer here too. I feel like one of these should be a giant, but I'm just not seeing it. There he is. There he is. I knew he'd come out of the woodworks. Big ol' four. I've been scouting him for quite a while now. I'm pretty sure the track on him is going to be 422. Like 460, so we definitely do not want to take a shot on this buck here because I've been holding on in him for quite some time. In fact, I want to give you guys a better look at him. Look at the size of that buck. Hold on, here he comes. There he is, right there. It's a great buck. Got this six hard stopped here. It's a cool looking orange one in the back. Megan Gary, you got a nine legendary lion. Congratulations, that's pretty fantastic. All right, so it looks like the mule deer found their drinking spot. Is this buck fighting something? For a second, it looked like this buck was fighting another buck. But it looks like we did unlock a mule deer drinking zone. Uh. Axis deer. Alright, let's try and spot that mule deer again. Drinking. Well, we'll have to go over there in a little bit to go uh, check on that, but... What do we want to do here? Okay, what should we do? Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. We're not going to shoot the big buck, but what else should we do? We could go for a water buffalo or a decent buck, but we're definitely not going to go for that big one. We could go for this female here. The doe. Oh! <laughs> I think we answered our question, guys. I think we need to finish off this water buffalo. Because, did you see that? 25% health. That means he wasn't going down. We might be able to get a follow up on one of these guys. Move, 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 move your head. Ah, oh, 
I didn't want to accidentally hit the mule deer. Oh, here they come. Alright, so I think we still need to track down that mythical. But for the time being, let's take a shot on this one. Didn't drop it like I was hoping, but should have gotten a single lung. Although, is she seriously still running? Ah, I hit the tree. Or is that a different one? Uh-oh. Did they stop right there? Okay. All right, all right. Uh, we need to find that mythical. We really do. Holy! Oh, that's a different one. Well, in this case, if they come at us, we're going to use the bow. But where did the mythical go? Huh. That would be the 338. Oh, that's a nice buffalo there, too. Uh oh! Holy! <sighs> I heard it coming and I knew we didn't have much time to get out of the way. Dang, that was a close one. Whew. That's a real nice seven. No, that's not the seven. Alright, so. Where the heck did our mythical go? Tracks here. <laughs> Black book. Uh, it appears our mythical water buffalo disappeared. At least there's no sign of any tracks, but I don't know. We'll keep looking. Uh, I think this is from the female. Could be from the male. Oh, no, it's from the male. Look at all the mule deer taking off. Doe there. Doe there. Small buck. Uh, pretty sure we dropped it. I didn't see it take off. All right, so. Wow. Hey, Brayden, hello to you as well. We did get a single lung. I was hoping this might be a rare, but it looks like it was just a brown. Different fur color variation, which is still kind of cool, but at least we found the blood from our mythical, which I'm pretty sure should be the mythical. Because that was the only one that ran this way. If I'm not mistaken. Should be able to find out from here. That, yeah, that should be the mythical. 25%. It ran a pretty good ways, but that's because we had a flesh hit and then... I mean, in that case, I should have just literally pulled out the 338 and shot it again, but... What's calling over there? Oh, Axis Deer. <laughs> I tried to save a gold out of this, but we butchered it majorly. Silver. We still have 100%. Uh, so, the first shot missed it? Or what? Okay, then. I guess the first shot missed it completely. With the 338 at 100 yards out. That's pretty embarrassing, but at least we got him, I guess. The Hunter of Diamonds 10. I was born in Iowa. And I'm a country boy in Dee Dee's, Wisconsin. That's right, so you're from the country too. That's where Dee Dee is born and raised in the country. Of Wisconsin. 
Good night from Norway. That's right, you are from Norway. Hey, have a good one, Daniel. Thank you so much for coming out again. So good to see you. Do we take a shot on this mule deer now? Man, these guys keep coming back. That's our big guy there. We do not want to take a shot on him. Hold up, hold up. There's two big ones? No way. Oh, I thought that was a diamond. <laughs> oh my god, I thought that was a diamond. But no, there's a big four here. This is not the biggest one. We could actually take a shot on him if we want. But this is the one I do not want to shoot right here. Absolutely do not want to shoot this one. But I kind of want to take a shot on this red deer. And the black buck over there. Man, there's too many good things to take a shot at. And another mythical. Man, and another mule deer. We are hitting the jackpot here. I don't know where all these animals came from. But I could definitely use some help. Okay. Hey, I got my first diamond moose yesterday and you're from Louisiana Steel Country. Congratulations, that's awesome, man. Steel Country all the way. God, that thing looks like an albino, but it's not. It's just a common color. I really wish they would change the fur variation to at least gray or something like that. Uh, is that the big one or not? I don't know, I can't make up my mind. Nope, that's the big one. I think. Too many options problem. That's a mythical over there. Well then... I think that's the big one. Oh, the stag. I want to take a shot on the stag. I want to see if it's possible to get a, a vital hit on this stag and take him down with the Mosin, because that's all we have on us right now. Although, it would be kind of cool to call him in, but nah, we're not going to do that. This is my need zone for the mythical, so we definitely don't want to shoot too many stags here, but we can definitely shoot one. 230 out. Alright, so let's go for a shot on this guy. We're trying for a heart shot. Oh, it looked pretty good. Man, that looked good. I'm not seeing the percentage going down though, which is not too good to me. All right, so we got the mythical down. Let's pick up our mule deer and continue on through this sanctuary. We hit that six hard water buffalo as well. We have to go find him. But what is that? Is that a black buck now? I saw it. There it is. There it is. It is a black buck. We'll go for a shot on him. Should take him down. All right. So. Uh, Cooney111, what's up? Love your content and so pumped for the lodge. Hey, thank you, man. That's awesome. Really cool name, by the way. And I really hope I pronounce it right. Because, yeah. Crazy G, I was born in a hospital in Australia. Nice. Alright, so we hit that mule deer here. And I thought we dropped it, but it looks like it actually ran off this way. Still shouldn't have gone too far. In fact, he's down right here. This is the smaller one. And we did get double lung at 140 on him. 97% on the quick kill. Uh, we want to get some of these drinking zones again because after taking so many shots... That is a mule deer drinking zone, and there is our six hard. Uh, the red deer stag. 
I really don't know how good of a shot we made. And Bama's Ain't Steve. That's probably the first time I actually said your full entire name. That is just so cool of you to say. Appreciate all you do, DD. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Bama's. And I appreciate all the comments that you always put on my videos. So thank you so much, man. That's, that's really awesome. I'm glad you appreciate it. Let's pick up this guy. I don't remember taking a shot. Oh, this is the one from way, way in the very beginning. I'm pretty sure. And we did get a right long shot. Interesting. Kind of don't remember that one, but anyways. Let's get some of these need zones again. Yeah, that's that's really awesome of you, Bamas. Thank you for that, man. Uh, is that that mythical? There's a mythical over there, too. I don't necessarily want to take him at this moment, but I'm not really opposed to it either. It looks like we did get a vital hit on that red deer, so that means it might have been a double lung shot. I'm not saying it's going to be 100%. There is our mythical right there. Which uh, depends on how big he is. That might be going in our lodge depending on if he's gonna break 930s I would definitely not be opposed to putting him in our lodge but for the time being he will be there and it looks like our red deer is smoked I saw him run off this way if that is from the red deer although I'm not seeing any more tracks here so a little bit concerned about that but, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was here, was he not? Did we wipe out our red deer spot? Oh, no. Uh-oh. We better find that red deer spot because... It doesn't make sense, though. That was the only red deer we shot. Oh yeah, definitely. I will definitely do that in a second here. Just trying to figure out where this red deer ran off to. Oh, this might be it here. Water buffalo and water buffalo. Okay. And mule deer and vital hit. And is this water buffalo what the heck well I still know where he's gonna be let's see man I don't know where he went but I watched him run this way And there he is. We uh, we didn't find him, but we found some more blood and some more tracks. Pretty good ways away. What are a medium, so it looks like he's going to go down. Oh, I think I see him. I think I see him. Yep, there he is. He's down. He is down. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. That happens. Let's pick him up. We only got a single lung shot on that, but I mean, we're a little bit too high and far back for the heart, but I'll take it. Still a really nice stag. And we got some calls from some mule deer over here. Uh, I believe we took a shot at that black buck. We're gonna have to swing by there in a second and go try and find the black buck here, but we should have some mule deer here. So we'll try and get out to the opening here. 
Hey, thanks for that, the Hunter of Diamonds. No track there, but there should be. That's a big buck. We don't want to shoot the biggest one. Because even though he's not a 5 medium, he is pretty close to a 5 medium. So I have no clue. Okay. I guess we found him. I just want to get a look at him to see how big he is. If he's the same buck, we're going to leave him. But if he's just like a three or a two, we'll take a shot. Also, I would like to get back there and find the need zone for the mythical red deer. Oh, there he goes. Got a three there. Should be able to stop him. Uh oh. We have company. Are you gonna stop? Come on, stop. Not gonna do it. I am not gonna do it. Too risky. Uh, the Seanster, I do have an Instagram. I really don't know who it was, the Hunter of Diamonds. Man, I guess he doesn't want to come back. I really would have thought he would have came back. All right, that's all right. Oh, hello to you guys. These guys were just sitting right around the corner here. I don't know where they came from. I think they were actually bedded. We have our 338 out here. And we took down one of them. Because why not? Also, there's some water buffalo around here too, so we got to be careful. Which is why I chose to use this. So, I'm really hoping we didn't lose the need zone on that red deer. Spinal cord on that. But, I have one of his need zones, so I'll be able to figure out where he's at. tracks here CW bolt I love the attitude you're really nice and I love your videos well thank you for that CW hey Nathan Hawkins <laughs> DD Clayton Adams likes veget veggie tales same as me as well oh that's awesome Okay, good, good, good. I was so scared. I have a red deer need zone here still. It's a rest zone at 9.30 until 13. But I had one here as well. And it's looking like it disappeared because we got a little too many... Well, let's just say we got a little too excited. <laughs> uh, no troubles there, though. Hello, Suriati Osman. Is that him? That's him. No, it's not him. Man, I got excited. It is him. It's him. It's him. Okay, good, 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 good. 
We got him right here. I thought we lost him for a second. And then I was just thinking he might have been a 7 very hard, but... He is a mythical. If he turns broadside, it's hard to see. Well, actually, when he's facing straight at you, you can't tell until he turns broadside. But he is a really nice mythical. Nah, you're good, Silver. I won't let it happen, don't worry. Look at this. Nothing like watching a giant stag walk right past you. And there he is. He's bedded. About 80 yards in front of us. Oh, that's so cool. Everyone's like, shoot it, shoot it! Shoot it! No. That's the whole point of this. Is to not shoot it. We might take a shot at this guy, though. It's just so cool to watch giants like that. And to know that someday, you might have a chance at them. There he is. He's so massive. And let's mark his location. We have a need zone from 930 until 1300 and it's 1256. Let's zoom out a little bit so we know where we're at. Okay. Well, hello to you, mule deer. <laughs> I don't know what you think you're doing, but this is way more interesting than you. I'll tell you that. Seriously, mule deer, move. You're not interesting to me. Oh. Another mule deer. All right. We're good to go. We're going to leave him there and let him rest. And slowly move on, make our way back to the lake. We have to pick up our black buck. And that seven very hard water buffalo should be down there as well. Look at him. Oh, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. I mean, not as cool as a diamond, but oh, that's still awesome. About as cool as you can get. All right, we will let you be. Let him rest in peace. Deer hunting NZ, good to see you. How you been? You shot a 10 point red stag, that's a giant. Why would you not take the small buck, be interesting? Um, You know, just because I don't want to spook that red deer, he's laying over there all nice and peaceful. Did I see another red deer? Pretty sure. Why can't I see him? Oh, there he is. I keep seeing this guy all the time. Yeah, we're gonna sneak over here and try and get this seven very hard water buffalo. Oh, thank you, Nathan. I appreciate that. All right, the beast, have a good night as well. Thank you so much for stopping out here. Oh, that might be our seven very hard water buffalo that we're after. Yeah, I appreciate that, deer hunter. We will leave him there. We will certainly leave him there. And he's not going to go too far from all these females here, so... We know right where he's going to be. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Not the... Water buffalo is over here, but I don't see him. Oh, hello to you. This guy thinks he's going to be the big shot. That is, uh, looks like it's either a small, seven very hard, or a big, big six. Oh, looks like we found another... Oh, I thought that was rare. Oh, scared me for a second. There, that's what I was looking for. But I don't really want to spook all these guys. We'll try and cut them off. We know right where he's going to go. Man, look at them all. 
Look at all the red deer. I think they're called emu emus or something. I don't know. I don't hunt red deer. <laughs> You're saying to shoot the stag? There he is. Yeah, I might shoot this stag. Ah, uh, it's too tough. Too thick there. Is that our mythical? I believe it is. Is he gonna come over to rest over there? Yep, it is. Alright, so if he's gonna hang out there... Uh, you know what? We don't really have anything to take a shot on that other stag. There he is. Take a shot on this guy. It's a six hard. All right. And that should have dropped him, but I don't know if it did. Yeah, that's all I have on me right now, except for the uh, Mosin Nagant. Kim Mitchell, my name is Dean. I love your channel. Well, thank you for that, Dean. Welcome to the channel, by the way. There he is right there. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that, the Hunter Diamonds. Man, only a single lung. Interesting. Honey Badger, do you hunt in real life? Yes, I do. Mostly bow hunting, whitetail, turkey hunting. Well, I would be turkey hunting now if I wasn't hurt, but... Uh, duck hunting, geese hunting. Pretty much about it. Oh, and fishing. Alright, so we need to get back here and pick up our black buck. Which should be here. Pumarest zone there. Red deer need zone is there. Uh, is this the black buck? What the heck is this? It is a black buck, but... I think it might have ran a little ways, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, that could have been him. He could have been here and he could have ran a little ways because we hit him in the spine. Okay, it makes sense. Not a lot of sense, but a little sense. That's the big boy. Look at that. 407 to 462 pounds. This is the big guy. This is the one that I passed up before. And I really want to get him in the lodge. Okay, so this might actually be the other red deer spot. Nope, water buffalo. That's the mythical track, and according to this weight, that's a giant. 2,567 to 2,755 pounds. And yeah, we gotta mark this spot. That thing's huge. Except, it's a mule deer drinking spot. Uh, well then, maybe he's gonna come here. 10.30?
Maybe? I don't know. It's a chance. Uh, holy, the chat just started taking off like crazy and... Wow. Hey, Ethan. Good to see you, Ethan. Female there. And there are all the water buffalo. I don't see the mythical. But he could be somewhere. For the time being, we have a puma here, and we're definitely going to take a shot on this puma. Because she's frustrating me. But we're going to use the 338 on this. And we'll hold for about 350. Okay then, run right over us. Oh, okay, that was just not cool. <laughs> Kyle Williams, I had your I had my best luck scouting on that lake. Yeah, I really like this lake quite a bit. Well, I guess we needed to get a better angle at this puma. Let's try this again. Oh, right to the intestine. She's down. Yes, I know we're using the 338, and you can't use the 338 on Puma, but it was a female, so that's why we're using it. And hello to these water buffalo. So I'm thinking this is the water buffalo spot. Is this for our mythical? Nope, it's not. Anyways, let's swing over and go pick up this Puma. Yeah, Puma. Uh, Cayenne Williams, I hate Buffalo. Yeah, they're so distracting. They just attack you all the time and it's hard to have a good hunt with them. But it's, it's fun to hunt them too. Daniel says, what about come to Norway and call in some big red deer stags? Heck yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, Nathan, this is a Sades something headset. Just type in Sades camouflage headset. But actually, this headset they don't make anymore because on the earpiece here, it uh, it's starting to tear away a little bit and I wanted to get a new one, but it says they discontinued them, which is kind of sad to be honest, because I like it. <laughs> Not saying it's the greatest headset, but I like it. All right, Daniel, have a good night, man. Have a good night in Norway. Or is it night? It actually might be morning there. Whoops. 16 water buffalo. And there would he be. All right, so we got ourselves our mythical located here at 13 till 1700. I'm like 90% sure that's him. Don't think there's another mythical around. Watch, all of a sudden I spot another mythical. Nope. All right, so instead of looking at these water buffalo anymore, we're actually gonna go somewhere where we can hunt some of these. And uh, not right here. This is kind of like my little sanctuary where I keep it for only monsters. I wonder if we actually got all of our harvests or not. We're still at 100%. 343 yard, looks like double lung liver. All 
All right, so let's swing on by. And I just want to check to make sure we didn't hit something, which we very easily could have. Brayden Wolford, what is your dream fish to catch? That's a really good question. Uh... I guess like a... A deep sea fish? Because I've caught a lot of freshwater fish. Musky fishing... Well, you know what my dream would be? To catch a, a mounter musky. That would be my dream. Musky. But I, I, I've already caught musky before, so... I just, I want to catch one that's at least 50 inches or bigger to get it mounted. I've caught in 42 incher, 44 incher, uh, but that's the biggest. I've never caught anything bigger than 44. But that was a regular. My, my biggest tiger muskie was 42 inches and I caught him on a bucktail. Hey, YT Captain Bros, welcome back. So good to see you again. So, as far as fish that I've never caught before, uh, some kind of saltwater fish. Maybe like a tarpon. Yeah, I say tarpon. There we go. Speckbrook Trout Fisher says, I know a guy who catches 355 plus inches a year. Yeah, some people are just lucky like that, you know. I've casted so many times that my arms are hurting and I'll get maybe one or two hits. And if I'm lucky, I catch one of them. If not, it's a miss and you catch nothing. I mean, I've definitely seen some 50 inchers come up and hit my uh, top raider. I used to use top raiders all the time when I first started fishing musky, but the thing about that is it's so hard to hook them with those things because the propeller sticks up and I feel like when they, come at, when they come at it to bite it, they notice the texture of it isn't as soft as like a duck. Well, because the top raider kind of imitates a duck and when they come up to bite it, they feel the blade and when you jerk the when you jerk your pole to set the hook it kind of pulls out of their mouth and you can't really get a good hook set with those that's why i always use bucktail or uh my favorite spinner for muskie used to be a rizzo tail those things worked really good and holy that's a big buck ah there's there's a couple of monster bucks here 410 plus oh that thing's huge Fresh too. I really would like to get a look at this one, but this might actually be Man, that's a big buck That is a big old buck Yeah, it is big it is big but how big is the question? Also, I don't like this spot. This spot is, oh, it's just not good. It's so hard to hunt this spot. Mainly because the water buffalo always ambush me every single time I try and hunt it. But, I would like to get a look at this buck. These old tracks here. I think they're old. Uh, if not, let's mark this spot too. Mule deer 12 until 17, so we'll mark that spot. I, I think it might be one of the same bucks that we saw, but I don't know. There's a chance it could be like a five medium. You never know. You never know. Where are we getting a call from? Yeah, I gotta find some pictures of my muskie. Hey, Donut Man. All right, take it easy. Have a good night, too. Thank you so much for stopping out, and we'll see you soon. And I accidentally clicked off the track. Whoops. I think this is his track. Tanner Ost, I want to see an Australian map. Oh, is that him there? I uh, can't quite get a spotting on him. Come on. Oh, he's right there, too. Pretty sure that was him. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe that was a different buck. All 
All right, good night, hypo. I think it was a different buck, actually. Got some tracks here. Oh, what's that? That's definitely a different buck, but there's a couple more bucks. Hold on, hold on. Doe there. Another doe there. Huh. Well, looks like we have some does, apparently. All right, Ethan, have a good night. Great to see you again. Yeah, if you guys like the stream, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely. Thank you for that. Is that him? That's a doe. That would be a doe. And a black buck spot. This is a pretty good spot for giant black bucks, so we gotta be careful and not accidentally shoot a giant black buck. They should add elephants. Uh, there's a chance someday they might. But just the fact that they added lions, I don't know. I wouldn't rule that completely out of the, the question because it, it could possibly happen. Alright, so I was hoping that I would catch a glimpse of this buck, but it looks like he's too smart. Too smart for his own good. Nice, Tanner Oss just dropped a 190 plus whitetail on Leighton Lakes. That is a monster whitetail. Just not quite a diamond, but still it's a monster. It's actually perfect for right now because you didn't lose out on a diamond, which is awesome. I thought I saw something right there. Come on. Can't tell if it was a black buck or a mule deer. Guess we'll never know. It's so thick here. I love this spot, but it's so hard to sit here and wait for them to step out. Gotta have so much patience. Alright, let's continue on over to... Uh, first off, let's change the time. to about there ish yeah that's good enough and then let's go here YT captain says they need to add some bloodhounds oh for sure there's a good chance there's gonna be some buffaloes here We actually should probably bring... Oh, we have the bow. I'm confident with this. We don't even need anything else. I was going to say, we should bring a 454 pistol because we do have that unlocked now. And that's... Oh, I thought that was actually a stag track. I'm really confident with the bow. So I guess we'll just go in with the bow if we need backup. Good buck track right there. Hey, Speckbrook Trout Fisher. Hope you get your first turkey. Season starts in 20 days. I hope you get your first turkey too, man. 
It's not as easy as you think, but if you put your time in, you can definitely connect. Cayenne says tree stands. The game needs tree stands. Oh, that would be so cool to have some tree stands. I feel like next up, turkeys and then tree stands because those have been asked, asked to, uh, those have been asked by a lot of people for a long time. Uh, is that a track in the sky? How does that happen? <laughs> so, alrighty. I guess it jumped up in the air and took a dump up there, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Flying poop. <laughs> oh. They should add muzzle letters. Yes, they should. There we go. Got some calls from some water buffalo. Let's slow it up a little bit and see if we can't spot one of them. They're way over in the corner, huh? Oh, right there. Oh, I kind of want to save this guy. He's a big orange mythical. Oh, we might be saving this guy. Or... What in the heck? Is a puma chasing him? There is some major bugs going on. Oh, look at this. Another one. Yeah, we're going to go for the four. Because, oh, I really want to get a big old orange mythical like that. Although, I don't think he's going to be like a 900 plus. But still... Oh, I kind of want him. Kind of want him. I figured there was a puma lurking around somewhere. You little sneaky bugger, you. Tell you what. Maybe I can take this orange buffalo down and the puma. Should have been a lung hit. Although, why did the mythical act like he got hit too? The mythical just bolted. Oh, come on, come on. Where did... Oh, I was about to take a shot, too. That is one lucky puma. And I'm going to mark this location here, because I think... Yeah, here. That is a really cool looking orange mythical water buffalo, which, oh, thank you for that. Cayenne Williams says, leave it, be strong. We did it, we passed him up. It was tough, it was really, really tough, but we definitely did it. And I'm proud of myself. What is that? Hey, Brop Nation, I get to go mentor trout fishing tomorrow. Dang, that sounds awesome. Where are you doing that at? Well, thank you, Harrison Herman. Dakota Underwood, just got your first albino moose. Congratulations, that is fantastic. Uh, that looks like it's either a flesh hit or a non-vital hit, but I'm hoping it's not a flesh hit. Okay, good. Whew. Scared me for a second. Is this water buffalo? It is. And that should be... That's definitely not him. Alright, so... 
Let's find this guy. And we know the mythical should come back eventually. But hopefully the lodges get here soon. Oh, I was really hoping they were going to come out on Thursday. Which, they are going to come out on Thursday, but not the right Thursday. They, they're coming out on the wrong Thursday that I was hoping they were coming out on. Anyways, hey Ben Gray. Hey, by any chance are you re related to uh, Kendall Gray? Just wondering. We got a shoulder blade left lung hit at 143 yards out there. All right, Braden, have a good night, man. Uh, Harrison, I got a diamond piebald axis deer. Oh man, that's awesome. Wait, did you did you pass him up? Are you waiting for him for the lodge? Cause that's incredible. That is pretty awesome. If you can hold off on a piebald diamond axis buck, he says he might be. Tanner Ost, a level 5 blacktail just walked into my crosshairs. I cannot mess this shot up. Man. Oh, that would be tough to pass it up, but I think I would have to do it right now. Because I would be in so much regret if I didn't take the shot. Uh, Outdoor Life, I've watched some of his videos. I don't watch all of them, but yeah, some of them are, are interesting. Four easy there, female. Take a shot on her. Waited a little bit too long, but still should have got double lung. So water buffalo there and water buffalo there. Oh, we actually have two spots. A rest zone there and a feed zone there. Wonder what this spot does. So, but that actually picks up this one, so then it comes back. I don't want that to happen. Huh. Left lung, liver, stomach at 105 yards out. This song is a little bit too chill for me. So is that one. There we go. I can deal with this one. YT Captain Bros says, should I tri should I save my albino moose or not, DD? Uh, yeah, you should definitely save it. <laughs> That's a pretty awesome rare, man. I would not take that shot if I was you. Not that I don't want you to get it, but I would rather want you to have it in the lodge. So when you get it, you can admire it. All right, let's swing on by over here. Hey, Spencer Coleman, what's going on? Good to see you, Spencer. So what do you think about the trophy lodges coming to Call of the Wild, Spencer? It's 200 plus. Uh, if you're talking about a moose that's 200 plus, then you better not take the shot. Although that would be really tough to pass up. Oh, that's how you stack up the needs here. They're going to be amazing. Yes, they are. I mean, it's definitely going to be game changing. I talked to so many people and they said that they stopped playing Call of the Wild, but they're actually going to start playing it more often now just because they have a reason to to play it and to hunt again. Man, we spooked these buffalo there right there. All right, they should come back to their need zone. If we're careful, we might be able to sneak in close. Go. 
Got a call over there. Yeah, looks like they continued on. I really thought they were going to come back. It's like a bunch of females. Oh, we have eyes. On a five medium. And... What was that? A two minor. Are they seriously all going to run away from us? Oh, that makes sense. You can smell us. There he is. Look pretty good from here. That should do. Silver Moon, do you think being an emoji creator for YouTubers and Twitch streamers could be a good job? Yeah, you know what? It's all about being the first person to do it. So I think, I think you might be onto something there, Silver. And doing something a little bit different would be cool as well. Uh, do you play with Winter? Yes. Yes, I do. Ten or less. Pheasants would be sick. Yeah, they would. Alright, so here's our water buffalo down here. Future X. ADD, how do you get diamonds? Because I was Bridget from last stream. Oh, hold up, hold up. Uh, is that my four? No, it's not. Okay, good. That was a pretty good shot. He's down. And there's our mean looking Puma from before. I didn't see it take off. But didn't exactly see it drop. Anyways, let's pick it up. We did get a right lung shot. I'm really thinking that you should get more penetration with this 338. Only a single lung. I don't know if it's because we're hitting too far forward or what, but that looks to me like center lung shot. So maybe if you hit in the center of the body, you can get double lung. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure the Puma went down. Yes, over it definitely could be fun. I agree with you there. So we dropped the buck. And then we shot the Puma. Uh, I see the buck. And I don't see the Puma. Alright then. Well, let's pick up the buck. 305 made a neck shot on him, a blonde. But how did we miss that Puma? Are you serious? That's kind of embarrassing. Not going to lie. But that's all right. Looks like it was a clean miss. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, I guess. Hey, Austin Shelton. Yes, I could definitely see the chats now. Heck yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, I feel really bad about that, man. I That whole stream was just completely blah. And it was just RIP. The whole thing. So, also, I feel bad about choking on that last Puma. <laughs> it was a pretty bad shot, but that's all right. It was a clean miss. Where is the Puma? 
She just called down here. Cool, for sure, it is awesome. There she goes. I got a present for you. It's a little bit bigger than you might expect, but... Oh, don't even think about doing that. Oh, that thing smoked. Oh, the Sunberg Heart's coming at us. Come on, switch out, switch out. That should take him down. Let's watch him. Watch him. And he just did a backflip right there. Oh, that was awesome. All right, let's pick him up. It was a gold. 37.9, a 99% on the quick kill. And we got a right lung liver shot. I'm pretty sure that Puma went down as well over there. Thank you, Deer Hunter. But I saw this guy. And this buck. Do I have a need zone here for bucks? Not exactly. Hold on, hold on. Look at over here. Look at this. Look at them all. A whole herd of water buffalo coming through the woods. Oh, that's so awesome. Six hard there. Four easy. Got a mule deer resting zone there, which is pretty awesome. I was really thinking there'd be a big old mythical in this herd here, but... Man, there's so many coming out of the woodworks here, I don't even know where they're coming from. Alright, so all I know is this water buffalo is getting a little too close for my comfort. Good shot, thank you for that. Just six hard there, and there's the buck. Hold still, hold still. Should have got a single lung, but definitely missed the heart on that. Yep, single lung will take him down. I'm okay with that. Can we get a follow up here? Come on. Oh, that looked pretty good. Maybe a little bit too hot. Yeah, we got her. She's going down too. Awesome. That makes two more water buffalo going down. Uh, plus, did we take a shot at that buck? I don't remember. Um, let me know if we forgot something, because it's kind of hard to remember. And I appreciate all the help I can get. Can we get another one? Center that one. That one's going down. I was holding my breath way too long. But we should have three more water buffalo down. And I don't remember. Uh, yeah, you're right. The Puma. Thank you, Austin. Thank you. The Puma that we shot in the intestine as she was running away. With the 338. Appreciate that. See, I can use all the help I can get. There she is down. Right there. Yep. Yep. So we have Puma plus we have... What the heck was that? Another Puma. Trying to spot it. I can't. Can't jump. Oh, I can't see it. Intestine shot, but I really want to see what that was. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll definitely make him a mod for sure. Mm -hmm. 
that should be the smaller buck, but you know what? We don't need to check to see what it was. We can just check the tracks. Uh, it was a nice one. We'll just say that. It was a nice one. And can we do something here? Uh, heck yeah, you can be a mod. All right, welcome to hashtag mod squad. Uh, so we have three water buffalo down here. Left lung shot. Uh, looks like we had a pretty good chance at getting double lung there, but too far forward. Hey, there's another mod in the house. Caleb Dillon, how you been, man? Good to see you again. I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. Oh, 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 oh. If we could get a clear shot. Oh, I love that. I love the angle that we had, and we went for it, and we took it. So that should make four water buffalo down over here. I don't think we're messing these need zones up. Yeah, because this is mule deer. We got water buffalo there. Yeah. All right, so we need to find uh, four water buffalo. This could be interesting. Well, there's one down there. And one down here. Is that a seven very hard? That's six hard. Two. Got a mule deer somewhere around. Hey, DD, you ought to get some guys together and just use the 9.3 on every map. That sounds fun. All right, we'll slide forward a little bit more and see if we could possibly squeeze one more out of this herd. Oh, we found another one down there. Got one down there, one down there, and another one's coming. Is that three easy? All right, so I can see three of them down here, and there's one that ran off in the woods. So you shouldn't be too hard to find. Let's get ready and try for another shot. I want to get a broadside shot. I don't want to take a front-on shot. Although this might not get interest. I mean, this might get interesting. <laughs> I was going to say this might not be very good. Come on, stop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> oh my god, this is not good. Uh, well, I guess we're going to try and hide behind this water buffalo here for our protection for the time being. And, yeah. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, boy. Come on, stop. Oh! Went for a heart shot, but... Must have almost gotten it. The reason I used a bow is so they wouldn't all stampede us. I can take on one or two, but it's about all I can handle. Come on, hold still. All right, let's pick this up. Got a single lung shot on him at 209. It's a female. Yeah, I'm trying to prevent the stampede as much as possible. 109. Come on, move. Somebody keep track of how many we have down. That was way too high. Never mind. Just put her to sleep. <laughs> Uh, I think we have six down, if I'm not mistaken. One ran off over there. 
Oh, what do you have? What do we have here? Oh, that was kind of cool. We spotted it in the air to six hard. This guy stopped at 175 out. Another one down there. Austin says up to five now. Man, I'm so glad you're in a mod now. <laughs> really appreciate the help. All right, well, make that. Come on, stop. They just keep on coming. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to stop them. That'll work. Should have gone long. Yep, she's going down. I'm trying to thin it out some of these smaller uh, males and females because there's just too many of them here. But we should be pretty good there. So let's try and go for six. Okay, yeah. This con says one. And then we got one that ran off this way. At least I thought it ran this way. Possibly not. Although it seems like that's him laying there. No, it's a brush. We don't need any more. We're good, we're good. I really thought one ran off this way. 90% sure. Nice, you restarted at 60. I just want to double check to make sure that we didn't hit one over here because I thought we did. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, maybe they all ran the same direction. I mean, there's a good chance. Yeah, I saw her run into the woods, but there's a good chance she continued on and kept going the same direction. Okay, this is starting to become like the zombie apocalypse of water buffalo because I mean, they just keep on coming. They just keep on coming. That was a brain shot. At least we're not missing. Because if we hit one bad, it could mess up this whole entire thing. Look at them all just stacked up. Oh my, I can see one, two, three, four, five. I can see five water buffalo down right here, but I feel like we're missing one somewhere. Where might that one be? Oh, the audio cut in and out? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Got a female there. A five medium there. I just have five now? Okay. Well then, we have five right here.
And two more. Sneaking in behind us. So. Let's just charge him. Do you think they're going to add jeeps? Uh, I don't know if they're going to or not. That's the one we just brain shot. Hey, Joel. And this one made a heart shot, double lung heart shot. And it was a silver because it was a small four. And this one liver stomach shot. Oh, a little bit too low there, but that was a 315-yard shot, so that's okay. <laughs> uh, no, no problem at all, Brody. Some blood here. That is for the uh, tip or donation jar. So when people donate, the little icon pops up saying that you donated or super chat and then it shows coins going into the jar. That's what that is. Right lung shot on this one. There were just too many of them. I mean, we could have taken out the whole herd, but there's just so many of them. I'm still thinking this 338 needs to get buffed a little bit to have some more penetration. You should be able to get double lung on these guys. I'm not saying it should, it should drop them at 100%, but you should be able to get at least like a double lung and maybe 80 or 90%. Shot look good. What do we have coming across here? Well, hello to you. All right, let's try something once. Is she gonna charge us? Sort of. Ah! <laughs> what the heck, tree? Why do you have to be right in the way? That would have been perfect. We smoked this stick. Look, there's our arrow. Man, oh! She came back. Guess it was meant to be. Oh, that thing smoked. That thing is smoked. Oh. 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 Oh, and she's down. Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, at least we barely got hit. We did get double lung and shoulder blade, but 76% on the quick kill on that. Uh, the Hunter of Diamonds 10. <laughs> Looks like you're having bark for dinner. Oh, you like that? That was a pretty impressive shot right to the tree, huh? Is this the same buffalo we shot at or a different one? Ah, and we finally choked. Messed that one up. Can we finish it off with a decent hit? That's what I don't want to do. We're doing so good. And then I couldn't resist the temptation. Whoops. So we hit one over here. It is possible that we got a vital hit, but probably just flesh. YT Captain, Buffalo for dinner. Oh, it looks like this one ran into the to the sky again as well. Look at 
Yes! That's a vital hit. I will take it. Oh, I'm so happy that... Oh, I was hoping that that wasn't going to be a flesh hit. Unless this is the one from before, but... I would say that this has to be the one that we just spotted, right? Nope, we don't have flying poop anymore, but we do have flying blood, which is just as cool, apparently. Although... So we did have a vital hit. And unless this is an old track, which it is. Where the heck did this thing go? Well, good luck turkey hunting. It's stupid how they're changing us for lodges. Once we have spent so much money on other mods, you'd think they would be... Uh, I mean... If you actually saw how much time and the size of this lodge, I mean, it makes a little bit more sense that they're charging something. And it's only $399. So, a one-time payment of $399 to have a trophy lodge for forever, to have any animal you want in it, I think it it's not a bad idea. That was definitely the one we just shot at. I thought he turned too much and I thought we got shoulder blade, but looks like we caught a single lung. And I'm so happy because I thought that that was going to be a flesh hit and we would have messed up our whole roll and all of our consecutive would have been messed up. But it looks like we're still good. So now... Just need to find the one that we drilled from before. Yeah, I see I see both sides of that, Austin. I see what you mean. Alright, so where did he go? I think he would have been. I saw him running over here. This might be his track. I know he was in a herd. One of them was him. He was headed this way. That's a female. That could be him. Oh, right here. I found it. Nice. Another vital hit. Right there. And it looks like we actually have tracks this time. Normally the tracks disappear and you just have to kind of blind track them. But looks like Call of the Wilds being nice to us and they're letting us have some tracks for once. Oh, it's only 9 o'clock in the morning? I feel like the time is frozen or something. What the heck's going on here? Oh, I bet it is. Let's check the map. Oh, it's still 9.06. 9.07. So maybe because we started at 6. I think that's why. Okay. We'll pick this guy up. We did get a liver stomach shot on the trot with the 338 on him. And man, how many buffalo does that make? I can't even count that high. Let's find out. Uh, down critter seven. I don't think that that's what we're looking for. Latest harvest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Plus the puma twelve. 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, looks like we got 15 water buffalo. Because this is the gold puma that we got with the Mosin. Yeah, 15 water buffalo. This is the one we DQ'd with the 338. 15 water buffalo we just shot. Wow. And speaking of that, we found some more water buffalo tracks.
Uh, can you guys hear the audio fine? Or maybe, it, I don't know. I don't know if it's Austin's, uh, whatever device he's watching it on, but yeah, if you could let me know. Yeah, I think it's yours, uh, Austin. I think, according to this, everyone else can hear pretty good, so. Maybe try re refreshing your screen or something. Oh, found some black buck. Female. You know, I don't even know where we're at. Where are we? We are way over here. We need to go not this way. We need to go back this way. Find some more water buffalo. We're going to stick to it. Although, I don't know if we could get any more water buffalo at this time. Oh, you're on your phone. Yeah, that could definitely happen. Uh, do you have Wi-Fi? That could be the cause of it as well. Very well could be the cause of it. Hey, MJWT Outdoors, how you been? Good to see you again. Um, I mean, there's so many water buffalo I keep finding, but I, don't, I really don't know what the strategy is to find the, the diamond water buffalo. But I guess we'll continue on down here because there should be some mule deer and some water buffalo down here as well. Uh, no, I didn't, Austin. So, Austin, it's so confusing with your profile picture. It looks like you're a 40-year-old man or something, but obviously you're a kid. How old are you? Hey, Moto Extra, thank you so much for this super chat, bud. Really appreciate that. Where are you on the map, Future X? We are on the far uh, northeast side. Or just east, right here by, uh, we're a little bit to the right side of Lago Galeras, or Galeros. Gal Whatever, you get the point. Austin says, no, that's Tyler Wood. I'm 14, almost 15, and 6'1". Oh, wow, that's pretty tall for a 16-year-old. I mean, a uh, 15-year-old. I don't know why I said 16, but... Yeah, when I was... How tall did I get? 6'1". 16? I think I was 16... And then I, I was like 6'1 when I was 16 too. But then when I was 17, I hit basically like 6'3. I was almost 6'3 at 17. Is that a mule deer? I don't know, I forget. Time goes by, you forget things. <laughs> Suckle. Suckle nut. What, what are you confused about? Tallest kid? Oh, you're the tallest kid in the school. Oh, but see you're... Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a puma lurking right there. Just want to make sure that there isn't a big old buck somewhere as well. Doesn't look like it, so it looks like we're fair game to take a shot on this puma. Oh, it turned right perfect. Just piled up right there. Nice. The bucks didn't even spook. Oh, there we go. A 
real nice melee there. And... I can't tell if that's a water buffalo behind. Nope, it's another buck. No, that is a water buffalo behind. Is it an orange one or what the heck is that? It looks so mysterious. Yeah, it's an orange one. Okay. Makes a little more sense. Just want to see if there isn't another giant muley hanging back here somewhere. Small buck there. All right, we're going to continue on and we'll swing by and pick up this puma. Uh, pretty sure I just saw another puma or a doe. Guess it was no. Is that our big buck? Look at him. You can't see us or what? What are you blind? Maybe he's blind. No, I feel bad. I think he's blind. I don't know. But that's strange. He should run. So Austin says my dad was crappie fishing all day with a buddy and they caught 77 crappie close to 12 inches every one of them. That is really impressive. Congratulations on that. Last time I went crappie fishing, I think I was uh, probably like 17. Oh, we got a gold out of that. Liver, stomach, and single lung 868 and it was in Minnesota at Red Lake ice fishing the crappies were biting so good that we were using slip bobbers and some kind of what the heck were we using we were using I think it was minnows or I can't remember what it was but it might have just been like a grub. I think it might have been a grub. You know those grubs that you buy at the gas station? I think it was those grubs. And we would drop it down, or it was either a grub or a minnow, but we would drop it down, and before the uh, slip knot would actually get lined up with the bobber, the fish would already be on it. It was nonstop. You couldn't keep them off your hook. As fast as you baited it and dropped it back down, you didn't even need a slip arbor. It was it was like pointless. You just dropped it down there until you felt tension and you just set the hook every single time. Oh, that's what we saw from before. Are you really going to charge us? Probably not a good idea because not too many have tried that and won. Even when I don't have sights, not too many are going to win. That's all I'm saying. Oh! Oh, really? Oh, you got to be kidding me. You think you're funny, huh? Oh, dang it. We messed that up. Man. <laughs> oh, two against one. How is that even fair? Yeah, they definitely won. They won that one. All right, so. How do we get back there? Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get over there quicker. Right here. Well, at least there's only one there. So, we'll just work our way around the edge of this ridge here and hunt down to that point.
Just want to double check to make sure there isn't a giant buck here, but doesn't look like it. Or some water buffalo. Nope. Man, I kind of wish there was a way to like fly over there really quick. Well, I guess we'll. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that hurt. Oh. Well, it's not working out so good. Third time's a charm, I guess. I'm going to shoot the level three whitetail. Oh, uh, if I was you, I'd try and hold off on that. Up to you, but I wouldn't mind getting a diamond in my lodge. G-Dog the Great just got your first diamond moose. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. Don't do it again. Oh, that didn't work out so good. Uh, Austin, nope, not yet. Still waiting for the lodgers to come out. The Brewers are winning 10 to 5 right now. That's awesome. Uh, Deer Hunter 4 just got a 969 Springbok last Saturday. Use your first diamond. Well, congrats on your first diamond. Do we swing by here and check these guys out? I mean, I can't imagine there be anything different than what we already saw. Oh, maybe we should check them out. Hey, Dennis Anderson, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that.
All right, I thank you guys for your patience. Had to use the restroom, but just got right back. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like my BRB sign that I just put up. Did somebody just donate? I literally just saw coins in the jar. <laughs> somebody donated while I was BRB. Oh, that's kind of funny. But it doesn't show up on my end. Alright, so we're gonna try and spot out some of these water buffalo here really quick. Some very hard there. Oh, there they go. I was like, where'd they go? I've only seen a legendary twice. But the first time I saw one, I was absolutely mind blown. And I stalked that sucker for about two and a half hours real time. And finally I got it. But I really want to find one again. It's not looking so promising. I don't know. Guess we'll continue on. What's up, uh, YT Captain? We're timed out to shoot my albino. Oh, all right, well, good luck. Yes, thank you, Dennis, and have a good night if you're still here. I had to use the restroom really quick. And I actually was able to get a BRB sign for the first time in two years. What do we have here? It's a six hard. We are here, but we need to get here, so. We'll just take our time. I don't want to spook anything that's a. Oh, seven very hard. But why can't there be like a legendary somewhere? Seven very hard there. And a seven very hard there. Six hard there. Well, the only thing we have to take a shot on them with is the bow. So I guess we have to do it. Guess we have to use the bow. And we'll put out the red deer collar. All right, Deer Hunter, have a good night, man. So let's take our time and work our way around there and get in position on this big stag. That's not good. Let's try and put out a call. We gotta shift over. Oh, did he bust us? No way. He might have busted us a little bit, but we still have a really good win. And he's holding tight broadside out there. Look at all of them. 
Some very hard there. And some very hard there. I think that's the biggest one. He's 89 yards out. I would like to get him to come in. Keep coming, keep coming. Or turn, or do something. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hold still right there. Come on, oh, come on, move, move, move. That should take him down. Oh, after all that? That's just sad. After all that. Could have just used the Mosin to begin with, but. Oh well. You only have six hearts on your map. Yeah, you know, that's a good question. I think. I think you need to take out some of your six hards and maybe I'll get some bigger ones. But I only have like seven hards on my map, so. I'm wondering if that was a non-vital hit. Hey, thank you for the super chat, Snakehead. Four. He says, what do you think of another African map with different animals? Unless you think they could put more on the map we have now. Um, well, they could definitely add a different map. But what animals... What other animals would you like to be added on that map? Like, I guess if you're talking about... Maybe... Rhinos and elephants and all that stuff. I think they could probably add those to the same map that we have, but I don't know if they're actually going to add those. Eventually, I feel like they might because so many people wanted them in the game for a while. But a lot of people were thinking that there's no way a lion was going to come too. And the fact that they put lions in, that that's a whole game changer because that opens up so many different species that they could actually put into it now. But I would love to see a different African map with different planes and um, some different animals as well. Maybe some zebra, some elephants, stuff like that. Uh, well, I have no clue how we hit him in the jaw. Like, okay. But... Yeah, YT, good luck with your albino. We are nearing our last water buffalo right now. And it is downpouring rain here. Got some mule deer calling in the background. We also have our 420s equipped too, so if a buffalo comes, we're not going to be in the greatest situation. Like this guy. Six hard there. Don't really want to mess with him right now. Just run away. Oh, that's not good. Please don't come back. Please don't come back. 
Got a warning call over there. We'll have to go check that out. And Caleb Kursku, thank you so much for the super chat. I wish I could play with you, man. I'm going to head out. All right, sounds good. Have a good one. Yeah, I definitely plan on doing some multiplayer here soon, so hopefully you can join in on some hunts. That was only a three easy? Wonder if we can spot some bucks over here. Uh, maybe not. Well, we can spot a doe. If we can see a doe, there should be a buck there, huh? A male. We'll hang tight here a little bit. Hey, thanks, Tom. It's really awesome of you. There. Oh, it looks like a nice one, too. Just barely see his rack. I wonder if we can get their attention. Oh yeah, that happens all the time, Bama. The reason that happens is when I'm trying to rush the shot and that's when that happens. So I got to tell myself, especially in real life too, I used to do this all the time when I was like 14, 15, and 16, bow hunting. As soon as I put the pin on the center or right behind the front shoulder, I squeeze my release and pull the trigger. And I always wanted to do that, but I kept telling myself, I got to hold on and take a couple seconds to think and aim and hold my breath and everything but it's it's all about nerves you know your nerves kick in and you just want to shoot like as fast as you can because he's so close you got it on him yeah you're you're aiming so you shoot well it's more about aiming breathing and squeezing all at the same time but it doesn't happen rapidly within within uh, about three seconds is is how long it's going to take for all those things to line up and to work out all right, so we spotted this water buffalo, but the buck does not want to come in. Man, he looks big. He's behind this water buffalo, but I can't see him. Water buffalo there. Caleb Kursu, thank you, man. I uh, really appreciate another super chat. I'm on PS4. Ah, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I only play on PC. Someday I definitely plan on getting a PS4. So it's not completely out of the question, but... Yeah, thank you. Well, I guess we'll have to come by there in a little bit and see if how big that buck actually is. But for now, we need to go over here and pick up our buffalo. Hey, the Seanster, welcome back. And Austin Shelton, welcome back as well. Uh, what you missed is some water buffalo, some more water buffalo, actually. And you probably missed us falling off the cliff a couple times, too.
Uh, let's see, probably... Probably a little bit longer. Yeah, probably like 15 minutes. Is this the buffalo that killed us? You better run. You better run. Oh, straight gut shot. That's what you get. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that, but oh, I was losing my breath. Well, it should definitely go down. But this is the one that we dropped with the bow. We ended up getting a goal out of that. Not bad at all. We got a lung, liver, intestine shot at 18 yards out. And let's find the one that just tried to... Well, the one that actually tackled us from before. So it was either a straight gut shot or a miss. That is a gut shot. <laughs> so we could track him right away, but it's going to run a little bit further. So it's better to give them a little bit of time and eventually they'll just go down on their own. Buffalo are not as tough as they think they are. No, they're not. They're definitely not. Hey, Justin Benedict, how have you been? It's good to see you again. What do you think about Bantang? I'm not really the... Hold on, hold on. Just saw a buck right there. Oh, come on. Give me a spotting. I can't even see it. I'm going for a shot. It looked like a three or a four. Was it a hit or a miss? Maybe it was neither. Well, it looks like the buffalo ran this way, so we'll swing over there and go check. That wasn't a giant, so I'm thinking it was... I think it was a three. And I'm thinking that we smoked him. Because that is a vital hit. Now our buffalo ran off that way somewhere. So we might as well try and pick this guy up really quick. Oh, there he is right there. Nice. I bet we got a double lung shot. The next question is how big is he? He is a three. Perfect. A three gray, we got a lung liver shot. Ah, oh, that was a tough shot. We made a pretty decent shot there at 147 out. I could barely even see him. But let's go find this water buffalo. Uh, I was just saying about Bantang is, I don't know if they'd really be that great of an addition. It's cool to have something different, but they're, they're too similar to the buffalo, is what I think. And there's our buffalo down right there. And we got another buck calling over here. Hey, Caleb, thank you so much for another super chat. Nice shot. I am seriously tired, though. Peace, brother. All right, man, I appreciate that, and have a good one. Just wanted to see the Spock. Or maybe not. All right, let's grab this uh, water buffalo quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I call a straight gut shot. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be laughing. It wasn't a good thing, but it did attack us, so I don't feel too bad. Well, we spotted a water buffalo, but why can't we see the buck? Where did he go? Hmm. Well, let's just swing over there really quick and see if we can pick up his track. Turkeys. Yeah, you know what, Austin? I'm thinking turkeys are next up for species. Well, for new species. Because Leighton Lakes is definitely due for some new species. And turkeys is very wanted by a lot of people. I don't really care about you, Buffalo. Just want to see the buck track. 340, alright. Just a decent buck. Which would be pretty good if we could get a shot at him, I guess. What do we have here? We have a smoked buffalo is what we have. Should take him down. Is that a flesh hit? Oh, no. Nope, it's non-vital. Okay, good. Wait a second. Is that the second track? Oh, it is. Okay, good. I was going to say, there's no way that that was an intestine hit. Just no way. Anthony says, what about wolf? Ooh, wolf could be a good addition. Although it didn't work out very well in the Hunter Classic. They just did a pretty much shootout to try and thin out the herds of wolves. Because there was too many of them. Man, that was a single lung shot. She didn't, or he didn't go very far. All right, now we're gonna swing on by over here and go check to see what the weight is on that mule deer that was calling. Turkeys, yes, Justin, we're, we are definitely agreeing on turkeys. Every time I get a survey, I always talk about turkeys. I wish they could put some kind of really cool strutting animation in it too. Bighorn sheep. Although they'd probably have to have a new map for the bighorn sheep. But yeah, eventually. You know, if they make a map where... Hello, water buffalo. If they make a map where they put pronghorn, elk, and mule deer on it, then they could definitely put mule deer... Or I mean, uh, bighorn sheep on it. Speaking of mule deer, there's the mule deer there. And there is a water buffalo. And if the mule deer would stop, I would take a shot. Or if he doesn't stop, I won't shoot. Well. Well, well, well. Change of plans. We will go with that. Yes, gutting and skinning would be a very big deal for Call of the Wild. Even like the smallest animation to where you actually have to process your meat or something like that would be really amazing for Call of the Wild. Yes, Mason, make it where you shoot the feathers off the turkey when you take the shot. Just like in real life, the feathers go poof. And double lung heart shot.
No, that's actually what you're not supposed to do, Austin. Anybody that aims for the head on the turkeys? Well, let's just say that's the last time they're going to aim on the head because there's a really good chance it could turn its head at the last second and you end up missing the whole turkey, especially if you take a shot when he's in full strut. You will definitely give him some piercings in his tail feathers, but you're going to miss the head. You want to aim on the lower part of the neck, preferably right where the neck meets the feathers. If you aim there, there's a good chance that even if you do miss the neck, you're still going to hit the head or vice versa. If you miss the head, you're going to hit the neck and it's going to go down. Where's that buck? He has me interested because I can't see him, but he keeps calling. Small buck there. And a mule deer drinking zone there. Should have been a good hit. Maybe a little bit too far forward. Nope. She's going down. Small buck on the front. She's down. The Sean Star turkeys would be a blast to hunt, I agree. A lot more relaxing and I feel like, you know, you could get more of a realistic feeling to it. Let's just say I don't think you'd be running around from spot to spot shooting turkeys. Although maybe you would. I don't know. I guess it'd be kind of similar to like the Lynx. But I'm hoping that they could put a different animation in it to where they actually move around different places and you don't only have to hunt need zones. Pluck the birds. Yep. Uh, what do we hit? Shoulder blade. But barely punctured the lung, so I'll take it. So I really want to see... What this buck is that keeps calling over here. Yeah, that's the buck I'm talking about. Is this him? 308 pounds? Maybe. Oh, there we go, there we go. I see him. Uh, what the heck is that? Ah, it looks like a... That the buck? Ah, oh, that wasn't so good. Might have gotten a single lung, but I think it was too low. I'm trying to figure out if there's another buck here, if this is the same buck. Because I feel like the buck that we saw before is a different buck. There is two bucks. I knew it. Looks like we did make a decent hit, non-vital hit. Although, what the heck is that? Okay, so that's one buck. The buck that we shot here should go down. Hey, Future X. You're my favorite YouTuber and Flinter and Fooster and Zaggedy K, but you're number one. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you for that, Future. And I'm sure they thank you too. Hey, 
And Alex Harms has returned. I was about to say Alex Hams, but then I thought it might have had an R in there, and it's a good thing I checked, because there is one. <laughs> Alright, here's our buck down over here. And Riker, hello to you as well. Snakehead, 499. I'll probably don't have to ask this, but when can you have a tour of your lodge? But can we have a tour of your lodge when it's done? Oh, definitely. We most definitely can. You guys most definitely can. Thank you for the super chat, Snakehead. Uh, yeah, I plan on getting it set up. Actually, what I plan on doing is having one room all uh, from Africa, like safari type. And maybe each room individually from each different region kind of set up like that. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'll do it as as I go, but for the time being, that's kind of my, my idea. And again, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Ryder. Uh, Riker. Oh yeah, definitely, Alex. Thank you for that. I am glad it's still still going too. Where are we at? We are way over here on the north end. We're about to approach one more water buffalo hotspot. So there's still a chance we could locate a diamond. Not that we're gonna shoot at it, but we'll locate it for sure. Uh Probably be pretty happy, Tom. Be pretty happy. Might jump up and down and scream and say, I can't believe I'm still alive. And thank the whole world. Something like that. Something along those lines. Thank you, Coral. Got a new water buffalo drinking zone there. It's a six hard. But we're trying to find something a little bit bigger than him. Maybe him. Oh, that could work. Decent one. Very, very decent. If he comes back this way, we might go for a shot. Uh, that's a really good question, Future X. Is Call of the Wild on PC hard, or is it easy? It it honestly depends on what computer you have. If you have really good frame rate and smooth graphics, and you're running on either ultra or very high, or not very high, uh, either high or ultra, there's very high on the Hunter Classic. But anyways, if you're doing that, it's actually difficult. But if you're running on like medium or low sometimes and the lag actually helps it's like it's easy to make a shot when you have really really laggy computer but if it's really smooth one little flinch and you could miss the whole entire animal in other words they don't have as much time to react did I just lose that water buffalo oh he's right there how did he walk right past us? That's not him. Well, he was right there. And now I can't see him. There he is. He came back. Come on, step out a little bit more. 
That'll work. And he's down. All right, let's go get him. Uh, Jared, no, I don't. I don't know where Clayton's at. Officer Taylor, welcome. Uh, a little bit, yeah. We've been streaming for about three hours now, but don't worry, don't worry. One shot dance. I remember the day you shot that leucistic black buck. That day was awesome. That day was one heck of a day, wasn't it? Heart shot on him, a nice gold right lung shot at 182 yards out. Hey, quit bike, how have you been doing? I've been doing really good, thank you for asking, man. Yeah, he probably either went to bed or maybe he had to eat something. I don't know, I'm imagining he's probably hungry. You know what the bad part is? We only have 420 grand arrows in here. And that's even worse. Oh, let him. He chickened out and turned on me. Didn't turn that time. That was a single lung hit though. Oh, that would have... You would think that would have dropped him. Especially that. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, let me take the shot. Come on, fall over. Fall over. Or just stand there and shaking your head. That works too. Where was that? Oh, it was right over here. Uh, got a track here. I think it was here. Don't remember though. I really wish there was a way to get down here easier. Well, hello to you guys over there, too. Oh, I thought that was a mythical. Look at all the water buffalo. Man. You would think that there would be a legendary somewhere in there. There's a mythic. No, it's a summary heart. Just can't buy one. Well, looks like we have a drinking zone here, which is pretty cool. Bad part is, how the heck are we going to get past him? Hmm. Well, maybe we're not going to go that way. Maybe we're going to go the other way. Pretty cool spot, though. Pretty cool spot, indeed. Nice group of them. Oh, uh, well, that'd be a little bit of overpower, I would say, Coral. Yeah, no need for a submachine gun in a hunting game.
Now, if you're talking semi-automatic, semi then that's a little different. I love how this guy runs into one tree and gets stuck there for like five minutes. Duck. Yeah, Future X, the only thing you can get full integrity is big, big game with that thing. You can't even get full integrity on a brown bear. I think you can on a moose. I don't even remember if you actually can, to be honest. Yeah, no, you can, because I got a gold moose with it before. I wouldn't mind taking a shot at one of these. Going to get them in a little bit, but I will hold off on that. Yeah, in my uh, hunting every animal with the 470 nitro video, I believe I got a gold bull moose with the 470. But I don't think you can use it on elk. Or maybe, yeah, no, you can. I think you can. Or maybe... You, I really don't know if you can or not. Couple seven very hearts. Six hearts. And where is the legendary? Come on. You know you're here somewhere. You want to play hard to find? I'm okay with that. No, don't kill my cows. What the heck? Oh, that would be a good shot there. So with that... So hopefully he goes down before he gets up this hill. Think he went down. He... Oh. I guess he just kind of stood there and ran in a circle then fell over and dropped. Hey, empty tankard. Well, we got a gold lung and liver on that at 128 out. The blue froggo boy. Hey, welcome. Good to see you again, the blue. RIP Louis the rodeo bull. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, well, I don't have a lodge yet, so when I get one, I'll definitely show you pretty much every time I make a video. Wait, what is this? 
Oh, there's a lodge here. This would definitely make it a little bit easier to get to. Well, let's unlock it. Oh, your veggie tail picture, Jared. Yeah, I like it. Is it a potato or a carrot? I can't tell. Hey, Parker, welcome to the channel. What's going on? Oh, you just got done playing? How do you like the game? Do you like Call of the Wild? Another water buffalo around here. I really do like this spot, but I don't see too many animals here. See, it's all wide open, but you can't really see much. I mean, you can see a lot, but there's no animals here. So, I guess it's not that good. Have you ever played Deer Hunter 2005? I've played every single Deer Hunter game, yes. That's basically what got me hooked on hunting games, is, is Deer Hunter. I think I would have been probably close to eight years old when Deer Hunter first came out. Well, not when it first came out, but when I first started playing it. Nothing like sitting in a stand and sitting there waiting for 10 minutes in real life, all of a sudden, you hear something walking or you hear a noise, you look over at the binoculars and you see it's a deer and the first time you're actually about to click on the mouse to, to take a shot on a deer is, it's pretty cool, especially when you're eight years old. All right, well something tells me this is not the right spot. But maybe it is. Maybe it is. Yeah, you should, Frogo. <laughs> Caleb, welcome back. Watching your stream is better than sleeping. Oh, I really appreciate that, man. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes instead of sleeping, I'll just watch YouTube videos before I, well, basically fall asleep to it, and then I'll just shut them down. So right now we're trying to remember where the last water buffalo went down, which I really thought it would have been here, but oh. Wait, no, that's where we spotted that one. Ah. Uh, man, I really don't remember. Seems like it would have been here because it's all purple. But... Maybe it was here. Oh, uh, maybe it was here. We'll find out. Oh, Jared, it's a carrot. Nice. Yeah, equipment is definitely an issue for streaming YouTube, that's for sure. There he is. There he is. Took him down with the 420 grain bolts, or I mean uh, arrows. Got a left lung, and then we did get a thoracic vertebrae and a skull shot.
Hey Nathan, the stream has been 3 hours and 18 minutes to be exact. Got another water buffalo drinking zone up here. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Well, good for you. That's probably the same one we're on the track, and I don't really want to track that one. Some tracks here. I would really like to find a legendary track. I'll know when I see it, but... I just haven't seen it. That's a nice size one there. Not even close to a diamond, but... Uh, Donger Seth, what do you record with? Ooh, we got a nice muley here. I use OBF Studios. Yep. And I stream with Streamlabs, which is similar to OBS Studios. Resting spots. All right, so I think the buffalo are all resting at this point. Which is what everybody else wants to do. Whoa, Ziggity K is still awake, which is interesting. Isn't that like two o'clock in the morning where you're at? Actually, no. It's probably like six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> What's up, Ziggy? Five thirty a.m. My second guess was pretty close. Well, good morning to you. Good morning in Denmark. Right? Maybe? Still sitting here with 420s. Come on. Oh, I hit a little bit too far back. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, man. About to head to bed. Wait, you're going to bed at 6 o'clock in the morning? You should be sleeping already. You should be about to wake up. Well, at least we don't have too far to go. Stan... Uh... Kong. Or... Well, anyways. It is 8.34 in... Stockton, where, where is that at? And sorry if I pronounce your last name. Eleven thirty-five. It is eight thirty-five here. Oh, okay, cool, Zaggy. I remembered. I remembered you're in Denmark. All right, Jarek, have a good one. Have a good one. Yeah, we'll probably swing by here. Stockton is in California. Never heard of it. I mean, California is pretty big, so it's not that shocking to not hear about it, but. Anyways, that's good to know. What country am I from? I am from the United States. And I'm from Wisconsin. Uh, what the heck was that?
Might as well check this track. Cheese head, yep. Well, I don't see any tracks. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to swing by here and pick up... Hopefully this female's down by now. And that should pretty much wrap up this stream. Because tomorrow, we should be streaming with Comic. If all goes well. Well, we got tracks here. Uh, that's the wrong track. It was actually there. Oh, okay. You just said that you were going to sleep. I mean, I can stay five minutes longer if you want, but... <sighs> People get tired. Bamas ain't Steve, have you ever gotten a perfect thousand diamond? No, I have not. Uh, is this female still running around down here? I totally thought you were going to sleep. Just chilling with the rest of my drink before turning... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were for, for real. For real, for real. <laughs> Zaggy. Oh! Hello. Oh, not again. Oh, I think he left. I think he left. Oh, poor Caleb's wallet. One last dono, RIP wallet. Anything for you though? That is so nice of you, man. Really appreciate that, Caleb. But if you can't afford it, then I don't want you to, to do a donation. But I really appreciate that. Thank you. Well, looks like we got a shoulder blade lung hit. I mean, I would like to end it on something cooler than a female that we didn't hit very good with the bow. Possibly like at least a decent buck. So I guess we could go a little bit longer. That could work. This buck track could definitely work. I saw another buck. Got him stopped out there at... How far is that? Is that the only buck? I'm like 90% that there was two deer. Looks like that's the track. Drink is empty. Have a good night. All right, have a good night, Zaggy. We're about to finish it off on this buck. 
and wow another donation comes in thank you so much bamazane steve another awesome super chat one more from me to dd have a good night all right well thank you so much and have a good night to you as well we're about to take a shot on this melee and that should be a good night for us as well just want to make sure that that's the only buck looks like it is so if he steps out a little bit just a little bit ah, I can't take a shot through the trees are you kidding me Come on. A little bit more. Still in the thick grass, I can't quite see him. It's so interesting how you can't see him and he's right there. There he is. He should be going down. What's running over here though? Oh, hello. And hello, and hello. Looks like we found another herd of water buffalo. Imagine if we saw a legendary right now. That would be insane. That's a big sound very hard. I'm trying to spot these guys. Two Sunbury Hearts? There is two Sunbury Hearts. Oh, a nice four. Look at that. A real nice four uh, muley right here. Nice buck. But maybe a little bit too nice. Yeah, he might be a little bit too nice. Get the sun very hard. All right, I'm down for that. Is that one of them? No. There he is. Get ready. There we go. Put him to sleep, and that should be a good night. So we'll find this buck, and then we'll pick up the cape buffalo. I mean, the the water buffalo. Hey, Troy. Thanks, man. So there you go, Stan. There you go. And this buck, apparently we only got a single lung. But we'll pick it up. Yep, single lung. And we'll go over here. Hey, what's going on, Tactic? Great to see you again. Oh, you got a diamond as well. Congratulations on that. 
33rd diamond. I think you're about tied with me. We definitely put that buffalo to sleep. And let's pick him up. 310 score. A heart. And right lung shot at 138 yards out. And with that, that's going to be a good way to end this stream. So I hope you guys have a good night. And look forward to seeing you tomorrow with Comic Book Guy. Alright, take care and see you guys later.